What exactly is the Super Saiyan transformation? Well, according to canon sources, the Super Saiyan transformation causes an exponential increase in power, along with a visual manifestation of spiked up blonde hair and bluish green eyes. It is available to Saiyans and Saiyan hybrids born with the necessary amount of specialized cells called S cells. All one is then required to do is focus a tingling sensation in the back to unleash their latent Saiyan power and... <laughs> oh, I'm just playing. This is why arguments over canonicity are inherently stupid. Canon or not is less important than what fits better within established world building. I don't care if S cells are canon. I reject your canon and substitute my own. Don't like it? Cry about it in the comments. The Super Saiyan is first mentioned by Nappa when he and Vegeta are discussing the unusual power of Kakarot's son when he critically injured Raditz. It's later expanded to us in the form of a legend passed from generation to generation of Saiyans. The legend speaks of an unstoppable Saiyan warrior with an insatiable lust for battle becoming the mightiest warrior in the universe and supposedly only appearing once every 1,000 years. Many believe the legend to be nothing more than a story, a story that gives some, some sense of hope to the Saiyans living under Frieza's thumb. Although Frieza claimed he didn't believe the legend, it's very clear that the fear of a Saiyan one day rising up powerful enough to defeat him was the primary motivation for the destruction of planet Vegeta and near extinction of the Saiyan race. Frieza's fears were ultimately realized on Namek when Goku achieved the form during their battle, thus fulfilling the prophecy and avenging the Saiyan race. The Saiyan transformation is triggered through intense emotion, particularly rage combined with life or death circumstance. Goku's transformation was triggered by his rage towards Frieza after he mercilessly slaughtered Krillin. Vegeta's transformation happened after nearly dying out in space during training and was driven primarily by his internalized rage about being unable to surpass Goku despite putting his own body through the most hellish training of his life. So much so that he abandoned his pride and declared to himself he no longer cared about surpassing Kakarot or even whether or not he lived. And after letting go of that mental block within himself, he finally achieved Super Saiyan. What this tells us is that the Super Saiyan form cannot be attained merely by training hard enough, but requires a Saiyan, after achieving a certain threshold of strength, to have a substantial emotional snap in order to break through the so-called Super Saiyan wall. The transformation appears to make it easier to unleash exponentially more chi without destroying the body. Think of it like this. Imagine a bicycle. The Kaioken is like rapidly pedaling like your life depends on it to gain more speed. You'll only be able to do it in short burst. And if pushing too hard, you can actually break your bike in the process. Whereas Super Saiyan acts more like shifting to a higher gear which allows you to achieve much higher speeds with less strain on the bike. That being said, the power output of Super Saiyan limits the time that the form can be used, but through proper training, the body can become acclimated to the Super Saiyan state. The form can be further evolved by way of Super Saiyan grades. Grade one being the basic form, like 
the one Goku achieved first on Namek. Grade 2 is what Vegeta used against Semi-Perfect Cell. It involves infusing the physical body with substantially greater amounts of chi, manifesting as a large increase in muscle mass, getting heightened strength and speed. Grade 3 pushes the basic principle of Grade 2 to its furthest extent, causing an extreme increase in muscle mass at the cost of speed. This grade, however, is regarded as functionally useless because so much is sacrificed in the way of speed that all the strength in the world means nothing if you can't hit your opponent. Super Saiyan Grade 4, or sometimes called Full Power Super Saiyan, is achieved by acclimating one's body to the form in such a way that the issue of stamina loss is completely resolved, allowing one to maintain the state indefinitely, essentially treating Super Saiyan as a new base form almost. Super Saiyan Grade 5, or as it is more commonly known, Super Saiyan 2, or Ascended Saiyan, is the pinnacle of what Super Saiyan is. Mastering the height of strength and speed beyond any grade before it. You could say that Super Saiyan Grade 5 is the highest level of mastery of the form that can be achieved under normal circumstances. To go back to the bicycle analogy, this form is like the highest gear that your bike can possibly shift to. Now hold on a minute. What about Super Saiyan 3? Well, Super Saiyan 3 is like dangerously modifying your bike to achieve speeds beyond anything it was intended to achieve. I say this because Goku was only able to achieve this form while training in the afterlife because of the different limitations that apply to his spiritual body and the other world in general. The first time Goku utilizes Super Saiyan 3 on Earth, his power is, it goes so wildly out of control that the very world shakes beneath him, as if the planet itself were about to be ripped apart by the sheer force of power uncontrollably emanating from him. While dipping into headcanon here, I believe this is the primary reason why we never see anyone else attain the Super Saiyan 3 form. There's also a substantial weakness to the form, which is a massive drain to one's stamina. Though I will admit it looks quite cool, and I guess you could call this Super Saiyan Grade 6. Now, dear viewer, what if I told you that all of the forms I've discussed so far weren't truly the Super Saiyan of Legend. And no, I'm not referring to legendary Super Saiyan Broly. And that's a subject for another video on Berserker forms. Have you noticed that every Super Saiyan form I've discussed so far is missing something? Something integral to Saiyan biology. Something that truly separates Saiyans from other warriors. That's right, the tail. All forms I've gone through so far are forms achieved through the tailless Saiyan tree. If you're a canon crybaby, you might want to click off the video now because we're going to talk about what I believe to be the truest form of Super Saiyan. The form that made GT great. Super Saiyan 4. Now I'm not going to lie. I'm a huge GT fanboy. And I've always seen Super Saiyan 4 as the true Super Saiyan. This form is achieved by Goku after getting his tail back and entering the Uzaru state. But Goku's new Uzaru form is unique in that it has the golden hair normally associated with Super Saiyan, 
And although this frame here is anime only, the GT writers clearly took it as an inspiration for the golden Uzaru form, and I am here for it. Goku never mastered his Uzaru form, and as in the original Dragon Ball, he is wildly out of control, in a berserk rage, unable to distinguish friend from foe, simply attacking what's in front of him. But it is only after his granddaughter's heartfelt words that Goku finally achieves lucidity. And that's when it happens. The golden Uzaru begins to shrink, to condense back to a humanoid form until the true form of the Super Saiyan is revealed. This form represents everything that a Saiyan is. It's so primal in its appearance. The red fur that grows over the body symbolizing rage and blood. The red around the eyes that gives a menacing gaze. And the wild hair like a jungle beast. This form represents the deepest inner nature of the Saiyan. It is primal power incarnate and the true zenith of the Saiyan race. To call this Super Saiyan 4 seems inaccurate as this is a whole new evolution that is the true intended path of an intact tailed Saiyan. Super Saiyan 4 is simply the true Super Saiyan, the ultimate form of which there is no equal. But that is all I've got for you. Let me know what you think about Super Saiyan. What's your favorite form? Did you find this video informative or are you raging at my liberal use of headcanon? I'd love to know. Thanks for watching.